Is product modeling easy or difficult? Can beginners do it? Absolutely. Even if you are just starting out, you can create high quality models with the right guidance. And today, we are modeling the iPhone 16 from scratch. Before we start modeling, we need reference images. Let's grab some from Google. I will use this reference image. Okay, now import them into Maya. We start with the simple plane to build the iPhone's form. Hit Ctrl E to extrude the plane and create depth. Press Ctrl E again. Set offset to 0.2. This will define the display and back panel. Wow, nice. The iPhone has smooth rounded edges and we will achieve that. Press Shift, select all four corners. Then double click on the bevel option. Set width to 0.350 and segments to 10. For the side edges, set width to 0.7 and segments to 5. To make our model more modular, select the display and back panel faces. Click duplicate and delete the original faces. Now it's time to add some interactive elements. Take a cylinder and adjust it a bit and select the middle edges. Then go to the bevel option, set the width to 0.3 and apply. Now grab the vertex and drag it down to shape the button. Duplicate the button and select the insert edge loop and add two edges here. Then select insert edge loop again, click on reset tool, then set the number of loops to one. Now when click, the edge will be created in the middle of the object. Technology! Technology! Add more edge loops for maintain the good topology. Now understand, it's a very important to get the mesh flow right. Otherwise, there will be no difference between us and the AI. Bruh. Now select this and this. Then go to the boolean, click on the difference box, select the first option, then apply and close. Now select these vertices, then go to the edit mesh, merge and set the value to 0.01. This will easily merge the vertices that are close together. Aww. Now select this edge, go to the bevel option and set the width to 0.4 and segments to 1. Now select these two edges that have been created, set the width to 0.2 and segments to 2. Also select the inner edge and bevel it. We will create the remaining buttons using the same method. Okay. Bruh. For the camera button, same steps, just change bevel width to 1.1 and apply and adjust the inner vertices for depth duplicate a button and adjust its length for seam slot use a cylinder for slot hole again we will take some edge loops for good topology select both the buttons and cylinder then go to the mesh boolean click on the difference box select normal and apply. Now select these vertices and then merge. Now we are apply the button method again for seam slot. Okay. Bruh. For the charging port, copy the button and adjust the position. Now make it bit smaller and now I will use the inside edge loop option to add an edge to the middle of the phone and the button. Now click this option for center pivot and then press V to snap for perfect placement. Create small cylinders for speaker holes. Height 2, radius 1.15 and subdivisions 10. Align them using snap. Then duplicate this and put it on the other side. Our screws are ready. Now for speakers, duplicate a cylinder and duplicate again. Now if you press shift and D, the next cylinder will be created at the same distance. I will make this side the same way. Add edge loops around the cylinders for good topology. Then select the body and cylinders. Apply boolean. Now select these vertices and then merge. We will do the same for charging point. I will bevel the edge of the charging point and do the same with the screws and speakers. To make a speaker net, delete the cylinders back faces and place a plane. I will duplicate it and place it on the other side and adjust it a little to cover it completely. Now adjust the plane to the right place. 
To create the screw, I will first extrude the top faces of the cylinder and scale it. Then scale these vertices and extrude the middle faces inward. Now select this star and bevel it. And now place it. To complete the charging point, create a plane, extrude it and bevel the edges. Now let's create the camera. Start with the cylinder. Subdivisions 32, radius 2.1, height 0.5 and adjust it to the proper position. Bevel the middle edges and adjust the vertices. Use isolate select to focus on the camera and back panel. Select this entire edge and extrude and delete the middle face. Now go to mesh tool and select the appoint to polygon option. Select edge to edge, create a new face and press G to repeat the process. After creating these four faces, take an edge, bevel it and adjust the position. Now go to the insert edge loop, set the number of loops to 4 and then adjust the edges. Try to keep these two edges parallel. Now we will create 3 more edges along these edges. Again select a point to polygon and create faces here. To create this face, double click on the edge and click on the fill hole option. Now we will use the same method for this side as well. Now we will take the top two edges parallel to the bottom and make them a point to polygon. In the same way, we will create the following part. Now select the bottom edge and extrude it upward. Then merge the vertices with the target weld tool. 2000 years later. Now select these two, make them boolean, after that I will align the edges properly. I will take time to connect the edges correctly. Having the edge flow right means your model is good for UV mapping and texturing. And artists who model like these are highly valued in the industry. Now I will select this edge and make it bevel. And now I will select the front edge and make the bevel segment to 3 and the width 0.2. Now delete this extra face and extrude the edge. After this, I will select the entire edge and bevel it. To create the inside of the camera, go to polygon primitives, select the pipe and block the top part. Put it in the correct position. Now make the radius 0.2. Now second layer. For the third layer, set the radius to 0.6. And for the last layer, set the radius to 0.3. I will copy the top layer for the second camera and place it in the correct place. Now for the second layer, we will set the pipe radius to 0.8 and for the third layer, we will set the radius to 0.4. For the lens, we will take a spare and delete half of it and scale it a little and place it. For the second camera, we will duplicate the spare and scale it a little according to the size. Now select the edges and bevel them. One eternity later. For the upper glass, I will take a cylinder, delete half of it and place it correctly. Duplicate and place it for the second camera. For flash, I will take a cylinder, change the subdivision axis to 6 and duplicate it. After that, I will select the body and cylinder. Then go to boolean and click on the difference. Now connect the edges. After that, select these two edges and go to the bevel option and change the segment to 2 and width to 0 
and apply. Now I will extrude the faces and add some detailing. Now select the edges and bevel it. Now duplicate the camera glass and place it here. Select all necessary edges and apply bevel. And just like that, we have successfully modeled the iPhone 16. We are not done yet. In the next video, we will apply the materials and render the final product. If you have any question, ask me in the comment section. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the left to learn how to model more products. Click on the right to learn the complete process of character modeling. See you in the next one. Peace.